I'm going to show you how to download and install the Kaden print driver. I'm going to show you using Windows 7, but the print driver also works on Windows XP and Windows Vista in both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. I'll start by going to info.et.byu.edu. That's the main page of the Kaden wiki. So we'll scroll down and click the Kaden printer link to download the Kaden printer. We'll click run and then run again. Here's the Kaden print driver installer. We'll click next to continue. We'll accept the agreement by clicking I accept and then the next. Choose a name for the Kaden printer and I'll accept the default of Kaden and click next. I'm going to accept the default installation location. Click next and then next again. The printer is ready to install so I'll click the install button. You can use the Kaden printer from anywhere on campus. This includes wired connections and secure wireless. The printer is now installed, so click Finish to close the installer. To test the printer, I'm going to print this web page. The Kaden printer shows up as a standard printer on your computer. From the print dialog, choose the Kaden printer and then click Print. The first time you use the Kaden printer, there's a short delay while it performs first time configuration. The printer will then ask for a Kadem username and password. You also have the option to save your password so you don't have to enter it every time. Once you've entered your password, click OK. On this screen, select the Kadem printer you want to use. Printers are named by building, room number, and type of printer. I'm going to select this black and white postscript printer located in room 423 of the Clyde building. Notice that if I select the printer below, the cost increases. This is because CB423 PSC is a color printer. There are three other options available on this screen. I can choose to print on both sides of the paper, use the manual feed tray, or charge a group printing account. I'm going to choose to print on both sides of the paper and click print to send my job to the printer. Once the document has printed, your signature card is charged and your document will be waiting for you at the printer you selected. To learn about other Kadem resources, see our other videos and articles at info.et.byu.edu.